Yeah. Hi, so I just thought I'd upload something quick um, based on reactions of whatever movie I would go and see just to fill the space between my bigger stuff, which is taking forever to everything. So, um, How to Train Your Dragon 2. First off, I adored the first one. It changed my life, I'm certain, in a myriad of ways. So I was not really so much looking forward to the second one as I was just really nervous about it. I know DreamWorks is not in a good spot right now. Uh, they've had three or four movies that have just not done very well, so... I knew this was gonna be... It had to be big. It had to be... It had... Big is really the only word I have for it. And... That's pretty much what it was. It's big. The entire last ten minutes are... How much... Just trying to one-up each big thing with another big thing and... Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just... I was disappointed, really. Uh... I don't know what they did to Hiccup. He's really kind of boring now. I don't know what happened... To, what happened to the facial expressions? The first one, the facial expressions were so just, not just good, they were charming, they were quirky, they were expressive. And this one is just like that kind of stylistic, rounded edges of the mouth thing that they, it's like a, almost an Aardman effect they had going for some of the facial expressions in the first one. Those are gone. Hiccup does not make any really drastic facial expressions. It's like there's this one part where he's like, Hicka, uh, toothless turns on him, he's like, what did he just tell you? You know, a quick just shot of him looking scared would have done it, that, you know, uh, whatever. The, the, I, I really liked Valka, the introduction of, introduction of the new character, um, Hiccup's mother. She was great. Actually, a lot, a lot of my problems with the movie revolve around her, but I liked her alone. Um... <laughs> For some reason, Stoic had to be there, had to follow Hiccup around. He didn't, I don't know why he was doing that, but. And then when he finally. Hiccup's like, I'm your mother. Hiccup, I'm your mother. Oh, hmm, not sure about. Oh, I know, I'm fine with it. And then Stoic comes in. Stoic, I'm your long lost wife. I love you! Didn't even hesitate. Um, so, yeah, could have been a lot more conflict. In that, it's pretty much just, I would have liked to see Hiccup and his mother actually have her teaching him things, have Hiccup kind of relate to his dad over what they think of this new, her, his mother coming in. None of that really happens. It's just, uh, a spoiler alert, by the way, as of now. Um, as soon as Valka says, yes, I'll come home with you, um, <laughs> She does nothing. It's like, I'm sorry, your plot stops here. And so she is now useless for the rest of the movie, and their whole cutesy dancing, we're now going to be a family thing now, was only a build-up to Stoic getting killed, because... <sighs> Which, that was a waste. I was disappointed. I, I, Stoic didn't need to die. Why? It, it, there was no payoff for that, there was no real reason, it was just another, gosh, it sure is big, how dramatic can we make it? It wasn't necessary. Complete waste of a good character. Complete waste of good character dynamics. Or what could have been good character, good, like, good conflict with Stoic and Valko, they could have... I'd like to see what these two actually look like. It, how they actually interact. And, uh... That's all gone. There's, there's, that's, that just seemed like such a waste. I don't know. I mean, kill him in the third one. Save, save him for, so that him and Valka can do some stuff in the show, at least. <sighs> anyway, that was, a, that was a waste. Um, Hiccup did, does not develop. He doesn't do anything. He's just a plank through the whole thing. It's really depressing. Uh... Yeah. I mean, he just lost... He found his estranged mother. He just lost his father, watched him die, 
and then his dragon is taken away. You're thinking Hiccup should be having some major emotion happening here. He might, like, if he fainted from just the emotional overload, I probably would have thought, yeah, I would have done that too. But he's just like, I, I thought maybe he might have shed a tear and, and looked sad, and then he's giving this generic monologue over the lake. He's like, shut up. Can you just shut up and look sad? You don't need to talk. Stop talking. My dad was just such a selfless, wonderful person. Shut up. Yeah. So all just... A lot of dramatic things happen, and yet it there was no substance. And that's just the emotional stuff. The emotional stuff is just not there. But the, 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 the actual themes, everything else going on, there's like... With the alpha dragons and the, and 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 this is we treat dragons right. Humans, it, dragons in the hands of good people, are much better than dragons in the hands of bad people because dragons in the hands of good people can just beat up the dragons in the hands of bad people. Is basically the gist of the of, of the story, the theme. Hiccups like I'm a pacifist or 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 a peacekeeper or something, and then his mom like great, so am I. Hey, we've got that in common. And then the end, they just. Blast the bejesus out of this alpha dragon who is being controlled to make him go away. Okay. Like, that's... I don't know what the theme is there. That it's not peacekeeping, it's not a non-violent solution, that's not where we found ourselves. It's just... Uh, anyway. Um, and Astrid is relegated to just kind of the girlfriend. She doesn't kick anybody's ass. The toughest she is in the whole thing is, my boyfriend's gonna beat you up! And I mean, <laughs> I'm still so baffled that Valka did nothing. She's supposed to be this this dragon master. That she, she understands dragons on another intimate level. And she has lived for 20 years with an alpha dragon. And then and now, and, and in the end, we've got this, this alpha dragon that Drago's controlling Somehow, I don't know how he's controlling this dragon. He yells at it and waves his stick in the air. I wa I've seen it twice. I still don't know how the hell he's controlling this dragon. Ah, just, anyway, so uh, yeah, yeah Valka's supposed to be able to, to understand so much more about dragons than he, even Hiccup does, and she does nothing. She's sitting off on the sidelines somewhere doing nothing. I just, like, she... <laughs> What a friggin' waste of a character! Astrid, waste of a character! Hiccup, even, waste of a character! Stoic, waste! All your characters are wasted! Ugh, frozen! I, I mean, I can't, not even that disappointed, because the movie was almost exactly what I knew it would be. It, I wasn't surprised at all. I would, actually, that's not true. Two things surprised me. I honestly thought they were gonna kill Valka off by having her sacrifice herself. She didn't, they didn't do that, so. Good job, but then they killed Stoic. That's not much better. Um, and they didn't have Hiccup freak up in a ra in a in a jealous rage because Arid happened to be riding on the same dragon with Astrid. So um, good job not doing that. <sighs> yeah, I mean it looks gorgeous. I guess the flying scenes are nice. The beginning is way too long. I mean, the actual meaty part of the story doesn't get going to like 20 minutes, and I mean, I don't know, the whole message is like, we, dragons, we're, we're partners with our dragons, like, but you're using them for games to fly around and play fetch, and sh friggin' sheep, by the way. I don't know what exactly the message is here. I mean... If they wanted to really get across that humans and dragons have another level other than just being a, a beasts of burden or, or just like really fancy horses that you fly around on, they should have actually spent some time on how intimate an understanding they have with each other. They're just flying them around all the time. Uh, Toothless is kind of, I don't know, he he's too cute now. He's just like... Uh, He's too cute. He, he, he used to kind of have a little bit of attitude about him. That was nice. They kind of went into it in the in the beginning part, where he's like, "You made me 
blow up a mountain for you and nearly die because of your stupid invention. And Hiccup's like, oh, aren't you adorable when you're cute? He's like, oh. No, if you actually respected your dragon on another level, you would perhaps uh, respect that he's got an issue with your reckless flying suit. And the whole, I don't know, the whole Hiccup and Astrid thing just took up way too much time. It was so friggin' cute. I mean, that this that clip has been out for, for, for weeks, or months even, but it, it's too obviously trying to recreate the the just how natural the dialogue from the first one felt this was not that i don't know just too cutesy um and why the hell oh hiccup with the chief thing his dad wants him to be chief you're the pride of burke and then it's like dad i've got an idea to stop this war no you're an idiot stay home you either want him to be chief and actually trust in his in, in, in the decisions he's gonna make on behalf of the village or you don't he never went back to that. He either... <laughs> Actually, him and his dad don't really have a conversation after the first bit where he's like, Hiccup, go home! No! Flies away. Uh, and then at the end, he's just chief anyway. Hiccup doesn't need to be chief! I mean, yeah, it's big, but... I mean, Astrid would have made a better chief, a way better chief, that would have given her something to do. Valka would have made a better chief, would have given her something to do. And, and it could have actually, I mean, Valka being the chief actually represents the village kind of going in this dragon-friendly direction way more than... <sighs> that doesn't a lot, make a lot of sense, but it's just not Hiccup. Hiccup didn't need to be chief. That's just not going to be fun watching all that going forward. <sighs> and then at the end, like, it was just... Oh, and Toothless is the alpha dragon. Because... Like, why wouldn't you just relinquish the need for an alpha dragon altogether? Which Valka t totally helped with. But no, it's gotta be just... It, it, Toothless has to be the alpha dragon. He did nothing all movie and now he's gotta be the alpha. Just for bigness sake. And then Hiccup is the chief. And then at the end he's like, We've got our dragons! Calm down. Whoa, 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 whoa. But that was not the Kim or the character. I don't know if that is... Oh, it's just... No. Nah, I... No. <sighs> yeah. So, um, yeah. That's my verdict. It's... I was disappointed. <sighs> um... Yeah. I guess I'm done.